Hello, it is Saturday. It's about midday actually. Um, and I'm gonna go into town to try and get some ingredients for a cheesecake. I had a really rough three days. Like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday were just really bad with Seracol. So fatigued. Um, but I have sat, I've edited, I've created, filmed, whatever, <laughs> two YouTube videos and I've edited two and I'm uploading one. Um, I really want to finish the book I'm currently reading, hang on, which is, Ooh, just threw it on Foster, I'm so sorry Foz, it's um, Bodies of Light by Sarah Moss, I nearly finished it last night, um, but I just got a bit too tired before I could finish it, so I really want to finish that one today, um, and I want to make this cheesecake um, as just a nice thing to do. Um, so that's my plan. Tom's on a mid, which is really nice, like a nine till five. Um, so I do get to hang out with him tonight. He's off tomorrow as well, which is really nice. Um, so I'm gonna go, it's a little bit like, blah. Yeah, I don't know whether, how well you can see, I think the white balance. I'm playing with a new camera. So <laughs> I'm trying to like figure out how to do all of that listen to my face there we go um trying to figure out how to do all that um as well which is really good fun so i am gonna go get some ingredients um i will show you what i get when i come back it's on a tiktok video rather than it being like someone just walked right past my window <laughs> rather than it being like a d recipe so we'll just see how it goes it's also all americanized so i'm gonna just give it a shot um yeah, and then I could do with going to the post office as well. I need to post back some ID forms to change my name. Um, so let's let's go do that. Um, I might film a little bit on my phone when I'm out, but otherwise I'll see you guys in a sec when I'm back. So I'm all back from the shops. I got some ham and fig crisps. I thought about Christmas Eve and I wanted to try them. I got just a little stubby loaf of bread because ours wasn't ideal. And then I've got some roses and some freesias to put next door and all of my cake ingredients. So I'm going to set you up somewhere, I think, while I make it. I'm going to sort my flowers out, put my bread and stuff and then see how I go. So that is what we're looking like with it crushed. It does look quite wet for a cheesecake base, but we're going to carry on. Um, I've just put half a cup of sugar into here and then I need to add all my cream cheese. What else do I need for the vanilla? Maybe the eggs, yeah, and some cream and mix that up. So I'm going to do that bit now. Okay, so we're then told to separate it, split it in half and put half a cup of red cheesecake batter in. Mine is most definitely pink, <laughs> not red. Um, and I thought I had a bit of <clears throat> red food colouring, but I don't. And then it wants a cup of each just poured directly onto here. I'm going to put this on a baking tray because I'm convinced it's going to come through that. Um, but let's see, it also feels really liquid. I can't see how we're going to get the effect that they have. But let's just hope it tastes good. I'm going to do that now. So as expected, it just wasn't thick enough to get that kind of like defined lines. But we might get some marbling, like there's definitely some lines toward the centre. Um, so now it goes in the oven for an hour and it cools for an hour in the oven too. So my cheesecake has baked, um, it has cooled in the, out, in the oven for an hour um, and currently I would say it just, it's clearly like a baked cheesecake. It's not red and white like um, it was in the video but it looks pretty good. Um, I've just finished Bodies of Light which I really enjoyed. I read this one, I think I must have started reading it on like Thursday or Friday. Um, I don't know if I told you what this was about. Um, this is about a um, young woman in like Victorian time, yeah, um, who wants to become one of the first generation of female doctors and we follow her um, sort of through that journey. This one is in a kind of duology, um, I think, like, um, yeah, it's kind of duology, so I was... <laughs> The next one is Signs for Lost Children, which I'm about to start, and 
I've just reordered night waking from a different um, place because it wasn't coming. It, like I've tried twice and it just wasn't arriving. Um, so I've just reordered it um, on uh, Blackwell's. Um, so we'll see whether that is any better. Foster. But I'm going to start on this one now. It's half past three. The other thing I really need to do is Tom, I think, managed to get some paint on the floor. And obviously, if you watched my vlog, I cleaned it on my hands and knees. So I'm like, oh no. It's all like tiny splatters. So at some point, I need to clean it. I think what I might do is sit and read until my cake's ready. That's like another 40 minutes of it cooling. Um, and then I can do my grated chocolate on the top and stuff. Read this one while I'm waiting and then do the floor, have a bath, I think that'd be really nice, and a face mask, and read the book in the bath. Um, I'm trying to have a really nice day today because I had such a hard time for the last three days. I'm just trying to make it really nice and enjoy it. Because I literally had to like finish work and then go straight to bed, I couldn't do anything. So I need to get some nice times in. Um, yeah, and I'm hoping if I still feel you know as good as I have done today tomorrow then Tom and I might go out for a walk that's something that we were keen to try and do um, last weekend but I was not feeling great um, and then I have my flu jab on Tuesday so I'm expecting that'll be like the end of my feeling nice um, but yeah I'm going to start on this one um, this one does have spoilers for the first one so I won't tell you what this one's about I'll just tell you whether or not I enjoyed it And there it is. One, as I said, it's like very clearly baked. Oh no! It's become too attached to the side. Let's see what I can do. I might have to try and detach it with a spatula around the edge. Um, and then I'm going to put on um, some chocolate. It's still quite warm, to be fair. It's been it's been in the oven cooling down for an hour. But it's still pretty warm. Um, Let's see what we can do. I'll show you in a sec. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely more pink, as I said, but I'm going to try a piece, see how it is. It does still feel really moist, but we'll see. I don't know how baked, <coughs> how baked of a baked cheesecake is going to be. I'm going to try a bit and then I'm going to sort my floor. And that's the floors all done, all the paints off them. So I'm going to have a bath. Hi Fuzz, you need your dinner first, right? But I'll do that and then I'll have my bath and read my book in the bath, I think. Hello, Tom is home and we had, um, what was it? Was it Gigi Hadid? I think we had Gigi Hadid's pasta. What, what's your review? Oh, you sound like such an influencer. Um, <laughs> yes, it was. I'm annoyed that we've used an influencer's pasta now. I just well, realized. it's on TikTok and we had double cream because I made the cheesecake. It was amazing. It was um, very good. Yeah, I think Sophie's observation though was right. That you can crack double cream in anything. It had, it had it had a half a cup of double cream and a tablespoon of butter. Why do you make a face? That's a good thing. Because it's a lot. So like it's probably like, you could make whatever you want and if you put that in it's probably going to taste like, amazing. touch your forehead and it's... Um, yeah, it's greasy. I'm always greasy. <laughs> um, yeah, so we just, we've literally just been hanging out, haven't we? We haven't. We know. Like Tom, came home, no. Tom came home at five. <laughs> yeah, so Tom came home at like five and it's, what, nine? Yeah, good day on the ward. Really um, nice day. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You have, you, he played chess and watched a movie and hung out with people. Yeah, one of the patients kicked my ass at chess and. I had to lose with good grace because they're a patient, but I was actually furious. And <laughs> I was fu fuming. Um, yeah, and then what, we, we literally, we came home, we chatted, we watched a few TikToks. You tasted my, Tom had a bath, he tasted my cheesecake. In secondhand bath water, just like to add. Yeah, that all sounds very dirty. Tom had a bath, right, he tasted right. my cheesecake. <laughs> That's <not> um, <laughs> And then we we started to watch what was it called the Raincoat Murders. The Raincoat Killer. Killer. It's like a Korean. Um, true crime. True crime. 
I wasn't that gripped by it. No, we didn't. We only really just started and then we stopped. And then it's we just, just how desensitised we are that someone can get whacked around the head of a hammer and we're like, next. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of bad. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, and then we've just been, we just sat for like, what, probably like 10 minutes and just observed the cats. <laughs> like, absolutely sad. We saddos. watched them eating. <laughs> but they were really cute. It was really cute. Um, and then Tom's going to play some games. I am reading Signs for Lost Children. I've only really just started. I read it in my bath because I had a bath and gave Tom the water when he came home. Um, but I think I'm going to read a bit more of that. Yeah, so if you've read that book, leave your comments down below. Yeah, put a, you, you, could, you could do like a secret, like other influency people do. They'll say like, put an emoji if you get this far. So like, choose an emoji and if they've got this far, they can... Um, well, uh, I don't know any emojis. Give me, oh, like unicorn, give me an or, owl. An owl, okay. Yes. That's what Tom, Tom is using. Because his... that's Sophie's nickname. She's owl. Yeah, and he's mouse. Oh, we are sad. Oh. Um... <laughs> Cool, so I think I'm going to read for a bit, you're going to play some games. We both have tomorrow off, and I'm, re I'm really actually really excited. Are you excited? We're going to get some walking done. Um, I want to go to Ham Hill. Ham Hill be nice. That's what I want to do. I or, wonder if we can go to Ham Hill and then a pub afterwards. Yeah, or I might, the other thing we could do is Montague. No idea what that is. It's a big country house that's fairly near to where we are, but they have a cafe there that serves like cake and stuff, and it's like a National Trust property. Exciting. We were going to buy National Trust memberships we as well, were. the money my brother gave me. Yeah. Um, mm. And there is a nice little pub actually in the village it's in. So we you could drive in then. Oh, why? It's so close. I'll get hammered in me in the passenger seat then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really know. I forgot there was going to be alcohol mm. for a while. I've That's had so my glass of alcohol of you, tonight. Like, yeah. um, mm. Cool. So I'll chat to you guys probably tomorrow morning. Um, hey, Foster. Foster's come. You show, show her. She's a good cat. She's here. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> my heart. Um, yeah, so I'll probably chat to you guys tomorrow yeah, morning, course. and if we do go for a walk, if it's not pissing it down, we'll take you with us. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday morning. Um, I've just woken up and done my little household clean. Um, I've actually been awake for a little while, but I kind of like lost my bed on the internet. Um, it's 10 to 10. I think I woke up about half past eight. Um, Foster's here. Uh, and I had a fairly late night last night. I um, stayed up until about midnight um, reading Signs for Lost Children, which I'm really enjoying. I'm actually enjoying this one more than I enjoy Bodies of Light. Um, Tom is still in bed, still asleep, so I'm going to sit down here for a little while. I've got a coffee and I'm going to carry on reading this one. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think we might go for a walk later. We will see. Um, it might depend on when Tom wakes up because he normally needs like a couple hours and it might be too late by the time, like if he wakes up at like 12, it might then be too late to start to go for a walk and drive there at like two. So it depends. Um, but we'll see how we get on. I'll chat to you in a little bit. So Tom is directing us on our walk today. I managed to drag him out of bed. What was it? When did you get out of bed? Half like... past 11? Well, half past 11. Uh, and then eventually, oh, see, you're feeling lost. <laughs> we just started. Oh, this is where we were going to try and park, but it was just normally, a bit too Normally, full. Sophie does the guidebook, but today it was left to me, and <laughs> we will be walking, but not necessarily in the right direction. I think we'll do just fine. Yes. Um, Yes, I will show you any pretty bits as we go. We're literally just starting out. So we're at the top of very tall hill. I don't think you can see much. It feels like the white balance is a bit aggressive. Um, Tom's here. This is the tower. <laughs> um, and we kind of got a little lost, so we did the detour bit, didn't we? In the hopes that that then takes us back. Hello. Hello. We weren't lost. We were... Adventuring. Absolutely. So we're going to head back down, just because it's getting a bit cold. And we think we, we don't really know where we're going. We're just going to figure it out. Place. We think we're going somewhere that direction or somewhere that direction. Okay. Oh, 
blindfold drive for an hour, kick you out the minibus and go find your way. <laughs> We're talking about D of E, by the way. Tom's not plotting some horrible <laughs> crime. <laughs> Um, we've decided to go off piece with the walk a bit. It's got quite wet um, and we made a bit slower progress at the start. But we've done like, what would you say, half? Uh, I've no idea. Actually. I think half to probably like three fifths, as the map book said. So. Yeah, it's been about two hours. Um, yeah, so it's a three and a half hour walk. But I just thought this little bit here was quite pretty. Hello, we are back home. We've had cheesecake and tea and we've both got our like joggers on. So it's so cozy. <laughs> it is, it's really nice. Um and Tom's always football starts in a minute, but it doesn't he's got like another hour yet, so that's quite nice, isn't it? What are you gonna do then? I'm gonna read for a bit. Why don't you finish your book you're so keen to book, yeah. yeah, Tom's what book are you reading? Tell the yeah, it's called people. Uh The Wisdom of Crowds. So it's the third instalment in Joe Abercrombie's latest series. It's really, really good. He's my favourite author, so. Yeah, so he's happy. And I'm about to start on Three Rooms by Joe Hamia, um, which I've heard fairly good things about. And I just felt like a little standalone of just having just read uh, lots of Sarah Moss. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take a little break from anything that feels attached to anything else. Um, and I think this might be a debut as well. I'll find out, but I'm excited. Hello, it is Monday lunchtime. I feel like I'm dressed like a bit of a like middle-aged woman today. <laughs> I've got some unflattering black trousers on, but they're really comfy and they're like smart and it's cold. I've got my big fluffy blanket on. Um, I just wanted to say hello. So I'm having a really frenetic Monday. It's just been one of those days where everything just feels a little bit all over the place and the time's running away with me. Um, and I had a really chill weekend, like I really enjoyed this weekend and I think I'm a little bit upset that it's finished. Um, but I have half an hour and I'm going to use it today properly and have a bit of a break. Really quickly, I just wanted to say that I really enjoyed Signs for Lost Children. At the very end, I was like, didn't think it was going to resolve well. And I was so mad at it, like the last few pages I read, I was like, no, you have to do this thing. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And then yesterday, I think I showed you, I started Three Rooms, um, which I'm also really enjoying. I'm 45 pages in, so that's what I'm going to do this lunchtime, is read a bit more of that one. Um, and I have like very fond memories of Oxford from a relationship I had when I was like a young teenager and through like, the beginning of uni, and I know Oxford fairly well because of that, like the uni. Um, and I'm just loving the fact that I can connect with so many of the places that are in here um, or like if they're like seem like slight fictional reimaginings I like know which part of the city I think she's talking about so I'm really enjoying that um, so far I've like really just started it but so far it's about a woman who is a postdoc in the English department at Oxford and it's just her like discomfort with her life her fitting in with all of these other people that are there um, and like living in this weird frozen reality of academia um, and not kind of moving on and developing the like home comforts of her life um, because it's all just this academic pursuit so I'm really really enjoying it so far. Um, you can probably hear the bathroom next door, they're having the bathroom redone, that's what that drilling is. Um, but yeah I'm gonna take some time now, it's probably yeah, like 20 past one, I have half an hour break and then I have a meeting with my manager and then I have quite a lot of stuff I need to do this afternoon. So I'm just gonna see kind of where I get to today. Uh, it's a bit for manic week two, I have half day training the next three days and it's half time week. So there's only two people of our like core team that are in. So it's just a bit nuts, but I'm gonna take a bit of time and relax in here, big deep breaths. So I've now finished work. Foster's here and I just literally went out, just come back in from going out into town and getting a few essentials, some coffee, some bread, um, milk, a couple of bits of veg um, and Tom will be home in about 45 minutes or so. He had someone hit his car this morning, um, took a wind mirror off but he managed to get into work today okay and then he's got tomorrow off 
to fix it and then he'll go he wasn't going to be working Wednesday and Thursday but he's going to go in on Thursday instead so he swapped his shifts around which is really good um so I am going to continue reading three rooms which as I said I'm really enjoying um yeah that's where I'm at at so far I don't think we're going to do anything exciting tonight I've got a lasagna for us that I got a little while ago and I've got some nice salady bits to go with it so we'll see if Tom fancies that um, but otherwise I'm gonna just sit and read for a little bit I think um, and try and relax it's been a quite hectic day and I've got training I don't know if I said that already but I've got training for the next three days in the mornings of each day so I've got a lot of work time so I think just chill enjoy the time I do have um, and don't try not to worry about it <laughs> um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do and I might chat to you guys later might be tomorrow we will see and he's talking Never be like Hello. Yes, we were we were yeah. arguing about what were we arguing about? My my concentration's gone now. Um, you walking shoes. Tom was complaining oh, yeah. that his feet are dead because he went on a walk, and I'm convinced that it's because you wear fashion shoes. You don't wear walking shoes. They're not fashion. They're they're like they are designed for walking. No, they're not. You told me you bought them to do a modelling shoot. I did. They got me a gig. But they're, they're clearly not walking shoes, so... They got me up Snowden. They did, and they also hurt your feet then. And I want to buy them walking shoes for Christmas, and for some oh, reason... It's such a, like, a waste of a Christmas present. A Christmas present is, like, something fun. Walking is fun. We had fun on Sunday. Was that yeah, not, was that not the best bit of your I week? I want something immediate. Fun. Right, listen, like, was, that, was that not some, not the most fun thing you did that week? Like, you played video games, but, like, actual activities... Well, now he's just having a dirty mind. Other than that, was there anything else that you enjoyed more than that? Playing chess with that patient was pretty fun. So would you like a chess set for Christmas then? No, because you refused to play chess. Yeah, I don't Otherwise play Otherwise I'd just be playing myself, wouldn't I? Yeah. No. Yeah, the walk was the best. Yeah, Part see? So... Sorry to hijack your video. So, what are you doing on PremierLeague.com? That looks suspiciously awesome. not like Netflix. Hopefully they're not watching it on the ward. Now I've got the two-screen subscription, didn't I? Yeah, so we're going to try and find this film. Um, I should probably stop for like copyright reasons. Monday night and I completely forgot to finish up this vlog. So I just wanted to say that I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Look after yourselves until then. Bye.